Hello, this is Scott Casey with Vistacom Information Systems. I'm here today to provide a video tutorial on how to use the VPoll mobile polling solution for your 2023 annual conventions voting needs. This is the same technology that was used at the 2022 annual convention so successfully, and so hopefully this will be familiar to many of you. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you have an internet connection. So at the Holy Trinity Episcopal Academy in Melbourne, where this convention is taking place, you can either connect to the Wi-Fi network that is provided or even use your own cellular data plan. But the first thing again is make sure you have an internet connection. Once you have established an internet connection, you need to open up the internet browser on your device, whether that is Google Chrome or Internet Explorer or Firefox or Safari, whatever internet browser you have on your device, please go ahead and open that up. And as you can see on my screen, I have Google Chrome, so I've opened up Google Chrome. And the first step is to go to the VPoll website. So up in the address bar, you want to type in V-P-O-L-L period M-O-B-I V-Poll dot Mobi. And that will take you to the VPoll website. This website is currently being redesigned. So at the time of convention, this might look a little different. In fact, it might look something like this. So it will either look like this, or it will look something like this. But in either case, the purpose of going to the VPoll website is to enter the access code for your meeting. And that is found here where it says in the field, enter access code. So on the new, soon to be new website, it will look like this. If it's still the existing website, it looks like this. So in either case, you wanna enter the access code in the enter access code field. And the access code for the 2023 convention is 2023 DIOCON. So you click the cursor into the enter access code field, enter 2023 DIOCON, diocesan convention. Please note this is not case sensitive. So if you enter the letters D-I-O-C-O-N, all uppercase or all lowercase or initial cap as I have done here, Either way is okay, but you enter the access code for the meeting, 2023-DIOCON, D-I-O-C-O-N, and you click the join button. And then that takes you to the your login screen where you enter your login credentials. These login credentials will be provided to you separately, so probably via email, but you enter your login credentials. So in this case, we have an ID number as your first credential, your first name, and your last name, and then your email address. So you enter all of your login credentials as they've been provided to you, and then you wanna select the polling session. For just the purposes of this demonstration, I have a test session, but it will actually be the uh, 54th Annual Diocesan Convention. So uh, once you get yourself logged in, if you're able to log in successfully, you will see this message. Question will be broadcast shortly. Please wait. Uh, there's a very good chance that maybe you entered some of the information in incorrectly, a typo of some kind with the email address or the wrong ID number. And if that's the case, you would get an error message saying invalid credentials, please check and then you have to re-enter that information. But once you do enter all the information incorrectly, you will see this message, question will be broadcast shortly, please wait. And then that is all you have to do, simply wait for the moment in which we're ready to take a vote. And when that time comes, the question will appear on your screen and you can go ahead and submit your vote. So let's practice that. Here's a simple yes, no question. Uh, are you a favor in adopting the agenda? And again, you simply click either yes or no. You can select and deselect your answer choice as often as you'd like. Uh, but once you click the submit button, that is the equivalent of putting your paper ballot in the ballot box and you can no longer change your mind. So once I click submit here, you also get this message, answer is successfully saved. So you now have confirmation that your vote has been uh, transmitted and received and has been recorded. And that is that. Um, and then, here, let's practice uh, an election type of question, whereby you may have to select more than one candidate. 
So here we have a diocesan board lay order uh, nominating uh, two people for a three-year term. Again, you can select one or two answer choices. If you try to select more than that, you will get an error message. So it is a pretty uh, smart system in the sense that it'll not allow you to do things that uh, you're not supposed to do. So I would have to deselect somebody. And again, once you make your selections, click Submit. You get your confirmation, and then we can see the results or announce them, however we're going to do that. And that is all. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this tutorial. I hope you have a wonderful time and happy voting at the 2023 annual convention.